Okay, hey guys, welcome to the Girls Counselors Q&A, and we're just gonna jump right into it by us each asking, answering this first question, that is, what has led us to be counselors? So, my name is Lauren Owen, I've been here a super long time, I've been a counselor for the last three years, and this year I'm actually on the programs team, so I'll be working on all the spiritual activities and stuff like that, but um, I pretty much grew up here, so what led me here was my mom, whenever I was like three, bringing me, and I've been here ever since, but I'm really excited to nurture y'all spiritually, and just lead y'all in that way, so that is me. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Reeves. Um, this is my first time at Camp Shioka, and I'm a counselor for um, Girls 3. Um, I was saved at a summer camp when I was seven, and so growing up I just always knew that I wanted to be a counselor, and when I found this one on Instagram, I was like, <laughs> what better one to apply for? What's up y'all? I'm Amber McMillan. Uh, this is my first year actually being a senior counselor. I've been a junior counselor like a few times, but like senior counselor at Camp Dioka. Um, this is like my 12th year here. I've loved it here. Like I've grown up here. My brothers have went here. Like it's just been such a great place. Like every time I come here, it's just positivity and joy. Just the atmosphere of like the presence of God and God's love and like all these people with like focus on God. It just beautiful. I love it so much. So I'm here to be a part of that and I love it. Hey you guys, my name is Ella Williams and what brought me here to Camp Shioka is I grew up going to a summer camp when I was younger my whole entire life and I always found God around nature. So when I became a college student I decided that it was best for me to be a camp counselor. What are you most excited about? Oh my goodness, I'm most excited for worship with all of the kids. Like, I'm so excited to see you guys. I play piano in the worship band, so I cannot wait to look out there and see how each of you guys are praising the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm most excited to meet everyone. After all this quarantine, I'm yes. just so excited to be around people again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. It looks so nice. Well, coming from the programs team, we have a lot of good stuff planned. We actually just redid our entire prayer walk, and... It's gonna be great. So, hope y'all are ready. Campfires always. Oh yeah. Time. Okay. I cannot wait. Since that seven. actually is probably what I'm most excited about. <laughs> I think about. Yeah. <laughs> Do you keep in touch with us after camp? So I'm just gonna go ahead and answer us. But me and Amber have been in the same cabin for the past three years. Um, I've been her senior counselor, and she's been my high school camper the past three years. So. Um, and it's been really cool because I've gotten to stay with the same group of girls for the past three years and really just like cultivate that relationship. And we've had a group me this whole time and we've been keeping up with each other and it's like, it's it's counselor to counselor on if they're gonna, we're gonna keep up with you, but a lot of us have that heart to keep up and love you. Like we don't want this relationship to stop when we leave camp. Like we even had Zoom calls with our cabin over quarantine because we were so all- So good. I look yeah. forward to those like every Monday. I'd be like, it's Monday? Yes, so <laughs> good. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. On that too. So yes. We try to. But do y'all have any plans or ways that you plan on keeping up with them? I time. definitely plan on keeping in contact because growing up my counselors kept in contact and mm -hmm. just seeing them out in the world now and their jobs and everything they're doing, I have enjoyed that so much. So yes, if you're in my cabin, <laughs> which for high school week is G six, I will be keeping in contact with you. I'm gonna be Snapchat, Instagram, writing snail mail at girl. Snail mail. Snail mail is the best. Yes. <laughs> so excited. How to keep accountable in relationship with God when going to college? I think that something that's really helped me is having an accountability partner, um, whether that be with someone from home or like someone that you've met in college ministry, maybe your roommate, but having an accountability partner to help you like in your relationship with God. And if you can't find an accountability partner, then definitely God is like your number one accountability partner. But um, just staying in the word all the time. It gets super busy and hectic, but that definitely helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and going off of that, uh, for me it was really... Um, important to find that ministry on campus that was like convenient to go to because it worked with my schedule and it was just surrounded by godly people who were there to encourage me yeah mm -hmm. and like not even just college like I just got out of high school and it was like I went to like a public school it was kind of like hard to right. find like I went to like FCS and stuff yeah go ahead but uh, <laughs> it's really hard to like keep in touch especially if you have like 
those harder classes or whatever, like full, like senior schedule, it's hard to like keep it up, but like exactly what you are talking about, find a group of people, like find a church group, a youth group. It's like somebody or like a group of somebodies who can like help you because they're trying to do it alone. It's going to be so hard. It's not impossible. Mm -hmm. You know, I did have to do that like my younger years of high school, but like definitely like, Mm-hmm. Like we're in this together. Like God yeah. didn't make make people to be alone, to be islands. Like yeah. it's so great. Like find people. Another reason why I love camp. People. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, one specific way that I do that. I actually just graduated from college and I'm in grad school now. But um, one way that I've been doing it this past year is on Saturdays I have this like set date with God. Pretty much like I call it my God dates on Saturday mornings. And I like go to a coffee shop and I read my Bible and I just spend time with him. Like it looks different every time. Like wow. sometimes I listen to music, sometimes I write, sometimes I read different books, but I always read the Bible, of course. But um, it's just something that like I've told my roommates and I've told other people so like they know that I'm doing it and like not even like, like yes, like accountability for sure but like for me at least like even the pressure of someone else knowing it and like expecting like oh she'll be gone on Saturday mornings like yeah. to do that like it just like it's like almost a silent accountability you know like yeah. like whenever because people are people and like they're not always going to remember every single thing about you but just like that constant date like this consistent thing like consistency is so key in keeping up yes. in college for sure like not even just on Saturdays but like having a set time, like, every morning, like, whenever you first wake up, do it. Like, you feel like skipping it, read one verse and move on. Like, do something yeah. every morning. I love that. Mm-hmm. Like, little Bible app, it's like, verse of the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, at the very least, you can, like, get, like, a notification uh-huh. verse of the day and be like, wake up. There it is. There it is. I know. I, know. <laughs> I get that notification at 9.57 every morning. I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> but <laughs> it's a thing. I don't know why. <laughs> So, how do you encourage one another without competing? Let's try, like, y'all define what that is at first. Okay, so, like, I think we can often get into this encouragement game of just, like, it's very easy for girls, at least, whenever, because I feel like whenever someone's like, oh, you have a nice shirt, I feel like I should be like, oh, well, you have nice shoes. You know, like, I feel like, I at least, like, it's not necessarily competing, but it's, like, almost getting even, you know, like, you don't want someone to, like, have... And up on you. Yeah, have an up on you yeah. in some way, you know, and like that's not true at all. Like some people can give genuine comments, you know, yeah. but it's just it can get hard if that makes sense. So like to stay away from like the competition, what I was thinking was like don't just compliment something on the outside. Like I like your shoes. Oh, I like your shirt. Oh, I like your hair. It's like compliment something about their character. Mm-hmm. Like you're a really great friend. Not something like you just meet somebody and you say that. Like once you get to know somebody, it's like, hey, you're a great friend, or you're a really good listener, or you're super wise. Like you have great advice. Like those are the best yeah. compliments. Yeah, but, like you something that's like, like, genuine. The yeah. Then like if they then they like have to, like think for like a comment. Like if they want to try to be competitive like that, like mm-hmm. you know, it kind of throws them off guard that way because they're used to just like external things. Mm-hmm. Like when, if it's a genuine compliment, then like. They're just like, oh, and it's hard to accept compliments sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's so kind of what hard. I was thinking. Yeah, just like, because obviously you can't control what other people do. Like, just whenever someone does compliment you, like, say thank you and move on. Like, you, like, accept mm-hmm. the compliment. Because as long as you're trying to come back with it, you're not accepting that compliment for yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not being encouraged yourself. You're saying, oh, cool, like, throw that away. Let me throw something back at you. You know, like, like it's not encouragement if you don't let yourself be encouraged. So we kind of touched on this a little bit and how we need these people, but how do we find real godly friends? I I feel like the obvious answer, obviously, is getting into, like, a church ministry and stuff like that. But sometimes you don't. Yeah, exactly. I'm in a really difficult time in my life right now where I have gone to, like, ministry and Mm -hmm. been around a lot of people and I have friends from high school, but, like, I'm looking for, like, some real godly mm-hmm. people right now in my life. And I think coming to camp has definitely helped that. Being surrounded by all of you guys, like I have found my people. And I can't wait to meet all the campers who come here. But um, that's a tough question. I know I totally did not answer that, but I just <laughs> want y'all to know that like, it's we real. understand that it's, it's real, so, like we're struggling yeah. with that as well. <laughs> For sure. For me, I did not, in high school, I did not have godly friends. Like they said they were Christians, but the way they acted did not mm-hmm. emulate yeah. that. And so, Every day, I just pray to God, like, I know I'm not around the right people, but those people aren't here. Like, there's none that I don't, I don't see any godly people. And so, just praying and praying, 
And going into college, I found those people just like around campus and in the college ministries that I went to, you know. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Hope we helped you a little bit. We cannot wait to see you at camp. Yes, bye.